Hello guys, welcome once again. Till now I have been showing you uh, basic but very important concepts of Python. Now from this video we are going to uh, write some code in uh, our Python file and from this video we are going to write some uh, useful code. And uh, this video I will start from uh, showing you how conditional statement works. And in this video, I'm going to specifically take if statement in Python. So let's get started. I have this uh, test.python uh, file which I made. Uh, you, if you don't know how to make this test.python file, you just need to go to file in the shell and just click new file and then just save your file at your specified location by uh, some name okay and you will be having this type of uh, file so my python file name is that test.py now the conditional statement which uh, i'm going to take uh, let's see how if statement works so for example i want to find out the absolute value of a number how can I find out by using a if statement? So, for example, I write a variable which takes an input. So, I ask the user to enter an input and I convert it to an integer and will be saved in the variable called n. Okay. Now, I want to find out the absolute value of that number. So, what I can do is I can use if statement. And how you can uh, declare if statement just write if and then the condition okay so here comes the condition this is a pseudo code I'm writing so we are going to replace this condition by a real condition and then in here so always remember when you write code in Python its uh, indentation is really necessary so if you uh, write any condition for example if if you give another code for example uh, i want to print something what it will do is this statement uh, sees the indentation and let me give you an example first and then i will illustrate the basic concept of indentation so I want to find out the uh, absolute number, right? So in the condition I can write n if n is less than 0. So this is a condition I am checking. If a uh, user enters the value n which is less than 0, what I am going to do is I am going to print, print uh, the value, absolute value. So I'm going to just write uh, the absolute value of and then the I can just uh, use comma to give the value of n and once again I can use comma to uh, you know separate this string and I can write is is and let me make a little bit bigger is yes, and then I can just separate it by one other comma and I can just, just write minus n if, we, if the uh, value is less than zero right so let's uh, save this program just control s to save the program and I will run the program run module or f5 and it says invalid syntax and why it says invalid syntax here is because in here after if condition you need to give colon here okay so this is taken as a condition and after colon it, uh, it indicates that this condition ends here and then the statement starts from here once again save it and run it and then it will run in this shell and it's asking uh, the user to enter a number i will enter a negative number minus three and press enter and it gives me 
uh, the absolute value of minus 3 which is 3 okay now for example I want I, I, I enter a positive number what happens then okay so I will run it once again and this time I enter last 10 and now nothing happens because this condition we are checking is less than or we are checking for the number less than 0 so this uh, will print this and just remember always that always provide an indentation here okay if you don't provide this uh, small space or tab here and just uh, you know write your code here with no space here and save your program and run it let's see what happens so it says expected an indented block right so always provide an indentation and it it's uh, you know show you the place where the error is coming in a red you know red highlight okay so always provide just give a tab uh, before your uh, statement after if condition okay or after any any uh, logic which you write so now this is considered as a statement okay and if you uh, if you write this if a statement or uh, like this it will consider this line as a different code and it will not come as a statement of if condition okay now for example i provide uh, the positive number and i also want to give the absolute value of this positive number so what i can do is i can just give uh, else condition else so your statements start from you know with no space here but so if your condition is if and then we have the uh, else condition so your condition starts from no space but the statement inside your condition starts with the indentation or space here just give a tab and it will give you this uh, space okay so once again i want to print out the absolute value of a number now i want to check whether the number is positive so if the number is not negative which is this condition if number is less than zero which means number is negative this will be printed else if the number is positive because this condition is not true that means definitely the number is positive I want to uh, print out the absolute value of this positive number right so I will just print it like this absolute value of this should be value n is positive because uh, the absolute value of positive number is positive right so now when I save the program and run it and it says invalid syntax once again why because I also need to give this colon here right now once again save it and run your program and it gives me uh, this question mark with a number I give 10 once again and it says absolute value of 10 is 10 so this is the basic syntax of if statement your um, you give if as a keyword for checking the comparison or con uh, comparison and you compare some values so right now we are comparing our value which user enters from 0 and if it's less than 0 we print this else anything else uh, will be covered by this statement and always uh, remember that your um, uh, if statement or else statement with will uh, have no space here but your actual uh, you know uh, code which you write in if statement or else statement will be uh, will have to have this kind of indentation here indentation means space or tab okay and it's not necessary that you can only give one line of code inside your if condition you can just give uh, multiple lines of code inside your if condition uh, I will just make it little bit prettier so it can have you know multiple line of statements 
your if, if condition or your else condition. Uh, this is just an example I am giving, but this will be some logical code which you have to write here. And in a similar way, you can just uh, give this here, right here, right? So you can have multiple statement in else condition. Now, one more thing to uh, remember here is whenever you want to go outside, so now want, you want to do some other operation. For example, I want to do, uh, I want to add two numbers, n or uh, some, I will declare a variable called sum, uh, sum of two. For example, this is my variable name, and I add 50 plus 60, okay, and I want to print it. Print, and then I want uh, just print this sum of these two numbers, right? So, if I do it like this, for example, I do it like this, what will happen? Let's see. I save it. And run my program and I give a negative number minus 9 for example and it gives me uh, these values which is which it execute these values okay but I wanted to print uh, uh, this number also after the uh, my if else condition so how I can uh, you know show or I, how I can tell Python that my else condition is uh, now closed or my this if else condition is now over and I want to print this now. So your next code should start from once again with no space. Okay. So this is this will be considered as a different code and it will not be included in these condition uh, conditional statements right and now when I save it I will save it and then I give minus 8 for example yeah I need to give minus 8 and now you see it gives me the absolute value which execute this code and then it execute my another code this code which I want to execute after my if condition. Okay, so just if you want to end your else statement and you uh, you know want to write some other code, just start from no space. So indentation is really very important in Python. If you uh, you know write or give this indentation incorrectly, your Python code will give any error or uh, some error. Okay, so this is the if else condition in Python and future I'm going to show you some more interesting stuff in Python so stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now